Welcome everyone to Throwback Gaming's Jack and a Castle demo. This is a short um, visual novel like thing, <laughs> like thing, <laughs> where um, you play this character named Jack who is in search of a missing king, but you're also allowed to have romantic interests. And there's a couple of guys that Jack can date. So, you know. Always love that kind of stuff. So, let's jump in, shall we? I love the graphics so far. Master, don't be scared, Marion. You got this. Uh, yeah. You'll be... Just fine as long as you're just fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes? We're all counting on you. That's what Master said, but... I can't even find my way to the closet. That's the closet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the castle. <laughs> Look around or ask someone. Um, let's ask for directions. Hello, excuse me. Plushy rabbit. Well, hello, hello there, dearie. I'm having trouble finding my way to the castle. I thought I'd see, I'd see once I arrived in town, but, oh look, we have like, I guess we're like a puppet or so. Oh, she's supposed to be like Marionette. Oh, that's cute. Oh yes, getting in the castle is tricky indeed. Why a doll like you'd want to enter that wretched place anyways? That's a boy. Okay. I mean, that's fine, but I swear I thought it was a girl. Tell him or none of his business. <laughs> Why not? Let's just tell him. I'm a servant there starting today. <gasps> a contact inside? Uh... You can count on me. I'll get you there right now. Uh... He's trying to use us. Follow me. Hey. We're here. Isn't that a nice little castle thing? <laughs> Click to continue. Nice. What the? Oh yeah, that thing has been crumbling to bits for a good while now. <laughs> It's been like that ever since the king stopped showing his royal face to his commoners. Some say he's, cur he's been cursed, so that's why. And I could believe that. Others say the king has died and haunts the place. <laughs> I got you here, so you're going to help me out, alright? I didn't agree to anything like that. Just find me a way to sneak in. I gotta find out what's going on there myself. I don't know. Thanks, counting on you. <laughs> Didn't even take no for an answer. That bunny plushy boy has hopped off elsewhere. <laughs> Ugh. Keep skipping stuff. My bad. I made my way through the jungle. I can only assume to only I can only assume what used to be a garden. At the gates, a moody looking guard lets me in. He told me to find a jack-in-the-box named Jack. Where should I look? The kitchen, the tower, or I don't know. Um, let's look in the kitchen. I entered the room. Cooks are preparing a meal. It smells delicious. Still, there are less toys than I expected. In fact, the whole castle seems pretty empty in general. <laughs> look at her. <laughs> Good day. Good day, you must be the new servant. Yes, I'm Marion. Annette, you can call me Anne. Have you spoken to Jack yet? His room is up in the tower, so he is in the tower, okay. I'll go see him. Thank you. Oh, that was easy. The tower has a narrow set of stairs. It's really uncomfortable and a bit dark, too. 
but once I make it to the top floor, the view from the small window is great. Someone has carved the word Jack on the wooden door. No answer. It's probably locked, but I'll try anyway. Or not. I bet he's in that, in that since he's a Jack in the Box. <laughs> it's not here. And what are these fine things? The whole castle is more or less overtaken by him. Huh, sounds like a curse. It better not be involved. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. That'd be really bad. There's also a curious looking box. Hand hand. Take a peek or don't touch anything. Uh, we have to open it, even though we're probably gonna get jump scared. I open the box. Inside it is a bed. <laughs> That's funny. Who would want to sleep stuffed in a square, square space? <laughs> hey, I thought you weren't allowed to get out of your box. You're Marion Marionette. Uh, you scared me, Mr. Jack. I'm sorry. It was my full intention. You're sorry. <laughs> you look kind of like a werewolf. I was looking for you. And you found me. What are you trying to what are you gonna do next, hmm? Uh I bet you didn't think that far. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. You caught me. I bet you don't think at all. Uh rude. <laughs> I feel that. Well no matter. Alright. It's alright you're a half wit. <laughs> this guy's so rude. I don't like him. At least you're easy on the eyes. They just called us a dumb blind. Well, you're totally not getting dated at all. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. I'm telling you, he's like evil. The pleasure's all mine. Is this the face you make when conversing? No, I'm sorry. I forgive you, of course. This guy's weird. I don't like him. But I do have high expectations for you, so please work on that. Ugh, I keep hitting too much. Let's slow down the text speed. So I could hopefully not skip it anymore. Oh, come on now. I'm sorry I'm so harsh on you. Let me show you to your room. I <laughs> Watch it be this closet. I mean, this whatever that is. <laughs> what are we, a vampire? <laughs> here you go. Here's your keys and here's your bed. You will sleep here until you wake up. Then I will show you around. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you. You start tomorrow. Good night. I didn't think I'd get my own room. Oh, so this is actually an improvement. That's kind of sad. This might not be so bad. <laughs> That's what you think. Yeah, I don't like this guy. My goodness, Mr. Jack. Forgot to say welcome aboard. Good night. Oh, he's such a little kid. I hate this place. I feel that. But I'll do it for Master. Listen, Mirian. My fellow intellectuals are worried about the land of Toy Boxin. Seems like the king hasn't shown himself in a month now. His right-hand man has completely taken his place. Well, seems like the right-hand man got rid of the king and took over as ruler. He's a toy named Jack. Oh. So, Jack in the box got rid of the king. Interesting. Jack is... Let's just say he's very well... Let's not say anything. I want you to go work under him as a servant. That way you can uncover what's going on there. Okay, so Jack is the one we're investigating. Interesting. I'll do it, but why me? I'm not particularly good at anything. That's precisely why. You're a hapless, clueless idiot. Why does everybody make fun of us? Like, we're not that stupid. You won't pose him any of a threat and he'll let his guard down. 
I see. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Everyone just like totally just called us out by being like total brunts. It's awful. I have the us utmost faith in you. I'll utilize all my haplessness and cluelessness. <laughs> my haplessness and my cluelessness. No one has faith in us, I swear. <laughs> Good morning. Ugh. Just barge in, why not? Good morning. You're late. I'm giving a speech to my subject today at this in at this instant o'clock. You are? I wish you would have told me yesterday. He's just trying to cause us trouble. I didn't know yesterday that I'd be giving a speech tomorrow. But today came and I knew. I'll give a speech right now. At once, Sir Jack. King Jack today. But you don't have to bow down because we're late. Yes, Your Majesty. Ugh. I helped Jack dress up before dressing myself. Yes, this will do fine. <laughs> He's a court jester. That's actually very fitting. It's like an evil clown. Is he really going to going to public like that? I'll be off then. Yes, he is. <laughs> I better get ready for the day too. He didn't show me around after all. Where should I work? The kitchen, clean the toilets, or nowhere. <laughs> um. Let's go help out in the kitchen with Annette. I'll see what's going on in the kitchen. Hello there, here's some breakfast for you. Thank you, is there anything else I can help with? No, I got it all, no. I've got all I need. Everything is in tight order, so I won't have the time to look after you out in the blue like this. But thank you, dear. I'll ask if I need you later. Cool. She seemed happy. I offered to help regardless. I finished my food and decided to walk around for a bit. I think I hear something. Oh, who's this guy? Mad Hatter, maybe? Guy in suit. Quit pushing me this instant. Shut up. They'll hear you. Says the one who's shouting. <laughs> I changed my mind. I'm going back. No, 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 Syl. Can I help you? <gasps> oh, it's just the dolly from before. Almost gave me a heart attack. See, Syl? He's the one I was talking about. Oh, so we are a boy, even though I look like a girl. Whatever. <laughs> what are you doing in here? How'd you get in? Um, let's ask what they're doing here. We're simply gathering intel. Yep. You really shouldn't be here. I have to call the guards if you don't leave. Guards, my hiney. Thanks to you, we can finally solve the mystery of the missing king. I love mysteries. Let's try to figure out what's going on. Let's discuss this somewhere else. They tell me they want my help figuring out what happened to the king. I tell them I'm also here to find that out. It seems like we have the same objective. See, I knew we'd find something good today, didn't I? <laughs> He's like, whatever. I like his eyes, though. I did. Either way, my name is Sylvester. Yeah, I kind of guessed that. I'm Marion. And I'm really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy even more. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I'm Bunny. Pleasure to meet you, dear. Let's get down to business, shall we? That basket case, Jack, is out there giving one of his bizarre speeches again. I figured this would be a perfect time to go come snooping around. Yes, many of the guards are watching over Jack right now. I suggest Miriam guide us to the king's chambers. Even if I wanted to, I don't know where that is. Don't you work here, honey? Okay, that's so stereotypical. 
I just started here yesterday. I mean, we got a point. We just started working here. We've only been here for less than 24 hours. You assume we know where everything is? <laughs> Surely you know at least some of the area. I guess. Then it's settled. Marion sneaks, us or sneaks around with one of us. And the one who stays behind can watch. There's a direct view to the square. So we can see when the speech finally ends. Who will you assist around the castle? Sylvester or Buddy? Um, we're going with Sylvester. Let's go, Sylvester. Yes, good choice. You make it sound like I was a bad choice, Sil. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. He's, he's got my kind of humor. <laughs> uh, get a move on, Ned. Someone's jelly. We make sure there's no one around and sneak for the stairs. Even though most guards are at the square, I still think this castle is oddly quiet. There's not that many people working here anymore. Once the castle started morphing into what it is now, most toys left. It's quite diff difficult. The castle used to employ a decent number of us. I see. Can I ask you something? You can. What kind of toy are you exactly? You know, I was just wondering that. I was like, what is he supposed to be? I'm a music box. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. Are you surprised? I've only seen female ones so far. Ah, oh, yes, I was part of the set originally. My partner was a beautiful young maiden. Every day we danced together to the most wonderful tunes. Until one day, she... <laughs> Awkward silence. I'm sorry or you don't have to tell me. I'm just going to apologize. I feel bad about that. Until she got into beatboxing. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> huh? I can't believe it. Now her core sounds like it's jammed broken. I can't dance with her anymore. Needless to say, we went our separate ways. Ugh, I see. You broke up because she went into beatboxing. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, it, it, it's... I like it. Sigh. I'm glad I finally got to tell someone about it. Aw. Bunny won't understand. Bunny doesn't seem to understand much in general. Dang. But I decided not to say that out loud. <laughs> I love it. Yawn. Of course, Bunny's a bad guard. Oh crap, I fell asleep. Is Jack still talking? Marion? Could you? Who are you? Uh. Intruder! Guards! Dang, this cook don't play games. What's wrong? Bunny's crystal is blinking. Bunny's what? I wasn't informed of such a thing. Is Jack coming back? Must be. Let's get out of here. The search for the king will continue another day. I'm sure Bunny is already waiting for me outside. I found an exit for Sylvester and went back to my room. There you are, Marion. Yes? You should check your belongings. The thief had snuck into your room. Oh, no. Indeed, but we captured this gun. Jack will decide what to do with him. Anyway, I haven't seen you all day. I hope you're not slacking off on your first day. Oh, no, no. Of course not. Good, then let's get in the kitchen. We got lots to do. No, wait, what am I saying? You need to double check that thief didn't steal from you. You're right, thank you. I bet, um, I bet Bundy left us something behind. Maybe one of those crystals. Don't mention it. First things first. She smiles and nods before leaving. Once her footsteps disappear, I, I go looking for the dungeons. We gotta go save um, Bunny from getting guillotined or something. <laughs> I found the prison cells at the very bottom, slightly underground. Looks like Bunny is the only toy here. Marion, I'm over here. Bunny, what happened? Some cooking doll appeared. You really ought to lock your door, sweetie. You were like so... You know what? Shut up. Speaking of locks, would you mind? 
I couldn't possibly let you out. They assume it was me immediately. Aw, uh, but please. No, I don't even have the keys. But I'll talk with Sylvester about what to do. Uh, he's gonna want to leave me here. Then I'll trust his judgment on that. <laughs> oh, come on. I even got punched. Look. You'll live. <laughs> wow, you're a jerk. Seems Bunny's doing all right. <laughs> I go back to my room. I love this game. I'm gonna have to buy the full thing. I'm dead tired. Oh no, it's this psycho again. Marion! Hello, your majesty. Who? I'm just your boss. Is this dude like two-faced or something? And I forgot to show you the place. Um, let's just say that's okay. Don't be so condescending. It was my mistake. And I apologize. I accept your apology. Why, thank you. You're welcome. I am? How kind of you. No problem. This is so confusing. I'm sure I'm glad to hear that. What other hollow pleasantries may we exchange during this fine evening? Uh, poor Marion, don't be sad. How about you join me for dinner? Right now? No, yesterday, stupid. Of course now. Someone's salty. Jack drags me to dinner. We enter the dining hall. All the other servants and guards eat around the king's table. But we walk past it all to the kitchen. Pick whatever won't make you vomit. Well, isn't that romantic? We're eating here. You're free to go eat with the others if you don't like me. Go eat with the others or stay with Jack. <laughs> Dang. Well, he's our boss, and we're also trying to get intel on him, so I think we should eat with him. Besides, if we do that, he might be nasty to us. He seems kind of crazy. It's more quiet here. I should show you around after all. But not tonight. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, sure. Everyone seems to be eating, except... Excuse me, Jack. Where is the king? Come again? Doesn't the king eat? Oh, please, are you joking? The king doesn't eat with a disgusting riffrack like us. He eats privately. I see. This dude's totally up to something. Do you think I could meet the king? Of course. You may request an audience with him. There's currently, let's see. About 15 years, 74 days, and 12 hours of waiting. Shall I add you to the list? This dude is scheming. He either killed the king or the king's locked up or some something's going on. No, thank you. As you wish. I finish my dinner with Jack and go back to my room. I slept pretty badly. The new room and everything that happened was making me nervous. After lunch, I had some free time up until dinner. I decided to check on where I met Sylvester once more. It doesn't seem he's here. Sylvester is peering through a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> How does not anybody notice that there's a hole in the ceiling? <laughs> Marion, come here. How? Climb out the window and use the vines to get to the roof. That sounds safe. That doesn't sound dangerous at all. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> ah, love this game. I'm sure you'll die from the fall. Thanks for that confidence boost. Uh, uh, that's not how I meant to say that. Oh, well, thanks. I meant if you do fall, you won't be injured or paralyzed for life. You'll have a merciful death. Well, it makes me feel so much better. I don't know how that's supposed to encourage me. <laughs> I love this game. It's so funny. Please just get up here. Someone will notice you talking to the walls. I climb up to the roof and manage to not die in the process, because that's always an achievement. I mean, it really is, but you know. <laughs> I couldn't find Bunny anywhere. Did he get caught? Yes, he's being held in the dungeon. 
I see. I checked on him. He seems okay. Although he did get punched. Why'd you do that? I didn't punch him. No, I mean... Ugh, I'll be frank with you. It was foolish of you to visit him. Do you understand your position in good faith there are, there are only advantages here? Yeah, but... If you get fired, we'll have no one inside the castle. Well, except Bunny, and he won't be much of a use behind bars. I get it. Sorry. As long as you understand. Anyhow, if that's the case, sneaking around won't get us anywhere but jail. I'll have to think about what we can do next. In the meantime, keep trying to find things out on your own. Sylvester climbs down to the gardens with much more grace than I could ever imagine. Ever could manage. My bad. <laughs> the next day, I'm washing pots and pans. A particularly stubborn stain won't come off. Good day. Oh, Jack, do you need something? Dinner isn't for a few more hours still. Yes, I need the doll boy. Marion, what did you do? Uh, nothing. I'll be taking him for the rest of the day. Thank you very much. Jack pulls my hand with too much force, but I won't say anything. Um, abuse. Congratulations, you've been promoted. I have? Thank you. Yes, you are now my chambermaid. Uh... Aren't you thrilled you get to keep me company? How is that a promotion or looking forward to it? <laughs> I'm gonna ask how that's a promotion. How is that a promotion? How is it not? I hope you're not saying you prefer dirty dishes over me. Your words, not mine. Indeed, they're mine and so are you. So is this castle and everything in it. Little do I care about your opinion anyways. A promotion is a promotion. You're accepting it or you're fired. Alright, with choices like that, I'll take the promotion. Now I have some important business to take care of. Consider yourself lucky you get to come along. <sighs> a promotion for no reason. That's suspicious. Jack must be really lonely. This is... What is this? There's like four locks on this door with chains and everything. I bet that's where the king's at. Surprise, this is where that dumb rabbit tried to get in. Just don't touch anything. There's a... There is the king. The room isn't as big as I thought it would be. It's more like a layer than a chamber. On the bed, I see... Is that... Yes, that's His Majesty the King. The King is sleeping peacefully, his chest falling up and down. Maybe it's like Sleeping Beauty. But there's a weird glow around him. But... What's going on? Well, since you wanted to meet him, here he is. Uh, aren't we uh, bothering him? No. His Majesty is asleep. Why? Jack seemed to be looking for the right words to say. Did you put a curse on him? Well, see here, Marion. The king is a great man. And the great men have a great many worries. For you see, the king wanted what was best for all his subjects. And try as he did, he had to face the facts. When he wished to feed someone, another would go hungry. When he wished to provide homes, another's lands would be ruined. No matter what decision he made, it was always at the cost of something else. Yeah, but I mean, that's life. We have to try to make the best choices with the least amount of negative effects possible, you know? And so, the foolish king who wished well for everyone came to resent the world that was, by default, unjust. I tried to help and rule with him. But he wished to know nothing, hear nothing, for everything was just causing him grief. And that grief turned into hate. Jack? Anyhow, I got this for him and put him to sleep. Jack used the item to cast a spell on the king. The glow grows stronger and the king seems to smile. 
Your Majesty looks happy. Is something wrong, or how does that thing work? He looks sad. Let's ask him, is something wrong? 